Hey, it's Rob again, back with another uh, how-to. Uh, Friday night, I was trying to build some things, and my air compressor would not hold. Um, it wouldn't hold any air. Uh, it just ran and it ran and kept running. It, it wouldn't fill up. Um, so I did some research, looked uh, looked some things up, of course, on YouTube, figure it out. So I think I figured it out, and we're gonna we're gonna see if we can fix it today. So. First off, what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew your six bolts right here that keeps this cover on. I believe it's a, uh, it's a 5 16 Now, what we're going to need to get into is the head right here. Um, so I got a, everything pre-torn apart, as you can see. There's a gasket inside of here, and there's also two what they call reed valves, and that's what allows the uh, air to build pressure. So we're gonna take that off. You're gonna unscrew the hose from there. Lift it straight off. Set that aside. There you have a gasket right here. You need to save that. Then right here is what they call as reed valves. Uh, see, there's one. It's just a thin piece of aluminum. Here's the second one, and this is why it wouldn't fill because it's broke. I got on Amazon and I uh, did some. Looking around, and I found these. These were these replacement valves were uh, fifteen dollars. They came really fast. I ordered them Friday night, and I got them uh, yesterday, which was Sunday. Okay. And I've already cleaned up everything uh, on here. You'll have some, maybe some residue and some uh, some other things. You know, you clean it up and put it back together. Attach your airline. That's that. Let's plug her in and see if we can get her going. Now when you're testing it out, if you don't have your your cover on, there's a fan shroud over here where you would need to make sure you watch what you're doing. 
Okay, before I couldn't even get it to go above uh, 30 PSI. So I think it's been fixed. All right, I'll post a link in the description of uh, where I found this part at on Amazon. Thanks, guys.